Hey makers, woodworkers, and resin artists. I'm Sean from Craft of Elements, and I would like to officially welcome you to the very first module of the Epoxy Resin and Wood Basics video series. Over the last few weeks, we've been filming the series here at Craft of Elements with a single goal in mind, to help you become a better maker, but specifically oriented towards people who may not be familiar with working with wooden resin. If you're a novice woodworker, or maybe you've kind of dabbled in wooden resin, maybe you're a resin artist who kind of focuses on doing art type top coating with resin, this is gonna be a great series to show you how to combine wooden resin in molds, process it, mill it, level it, finish it and actually make it from a solid piece of wood to all the way to a finished project that you can sell or just enjoy in your own home. That's what this video series is for. If you are a expert woodworker and you've got tens of thousands of dollars worth of tools and you've made security boards like this and made tabletops like this, this is probably not the video series for you. It is really oriented towards getting you started if you are not familiar with working with things like this to making beautiful things like this. Now, before we get any further in this video, I wanna say something that I think is really important. I'm good at a lot of things. I'm great at some things, but I'm an expert in nothing. You know, even what I'm teaching here in this video series is open to interpretation. I'm not a professional woodworker. I'm not a cabinet maker. You know, my background is in engineering, marketing. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've run 35 different businesses in the last 25 years. That's my background, but that should be encouragement to you because if I can do things like this and I can learn to do things like this and be able to teach people confidently how to do things like this, so can you. You just need to have a little bit of motivation, a little bit of money to invest in tools and equipment and supplies and stuff like that, but you will succeed if you try. Don't Now you're not gonna succeed every time, even I fail. And I, I learn things every day, I learn things from other makers, I learn things from YouTube. Whatever I teach you might not be the only way to do things. You know, there are more than one ways to skin a cat. I know people don't necessarily like that expression, maybe it's a little outdated, but it is actually true. I might teach you how to do something a certain way, but there are likely other ways to do it. I'm teaching you our way, our method, what I think is the most efficient. It doesn't mean it's the only way, and I just wanna get that out of the way before we proceed. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's really get into the meat and potatoes of it. The reason you're here, we're gonna learn about working with resin and wood, everything from start to finish. Now we've broken it up into 11 different modules for a reason. One, because we don't think anyone's gonna sit through the entire process of a six or seven hour videos. And two, because if you've got expertise or at least are familiar in one segment and you just wanna focus on another segment, then you can do that. You can avoid the wood module altogether if you already know everything you need to know about wood and finding wood and you just wanna focus on resin, that's fine. You do not have to watch every single module in the series, although they do provide a cohesive look at the entire process. So to really get the most most from this series, especially if you are a novice woodworker, a beginner, a hobbyist, uh, maybe someone that hasn't even worked with wood or resin, or maybe you're a woodworker who has never worked with resin, or maybe you're a resin artist who, who really focus on, uh, focuses just on you know, top coating resin pieces and doing art and really needs to learn about the power tools aspect and the other finishing, wood finishing aspects, you know, you really do want to watch this entire series from start to finish, uh, even though some of these things may already be familiar to you. However, we again broke them up into those modules because we want everything to be clear, cohesive, and concise. We are really going to delve deep into each particular topic into each of these modules. So without further ado, let's talk about those 11 modules now. Well, of course, module number one is this one, the introduction. You're watching it now. I probably don't need to introduce the introduction. However, module number two is really focused on tools. We're talking about tools required in your shop. You know, you don't need a mega shop. You don't need tens of thousands of dollars worth of tools to make stuff like this. We're gonna look at all the tools that we need to make basic resin and wood projects, where you get them, how much they cost, and what they're used for. And of course, we're also gonna look at a small budget. We're gonna to put together a complete list of things you need to do to get started if you have absolutely nothing. And I guarantee that number will surprise you in a good way. Module number three is about wood. It's simply titled wood. Couldn't think of anything any more creative, but you know, we're looking at everything to do with wood. We're gonna talk about things like moisture content. We're gonna talk about where to find wood. And I'm not talking about wood like going to home hardware and buying plywood or SPF or spruce two by fours. I'm talking about hardwoods, live edge woods, woods that are gonna be used for these resin and wood projects. Whether they be maple or walnut or ash or oak or exotic wood species, we're talking about how to find them, how to make sure they're okay, how to prep them is a really important part because as you probably can guess, you can't just take wood, throw it in a bowl and throw some resin in there. There's quite a bit of prep involved. So we're really gonna delve deep into finding wood, prepping wood and using wood in these resin projects. 
Module number four is a core module in the series and is strictly about resins. We're talking about what resin to use and we're actually gonna be doing some actual examples and talking about some brief mold examples. We're talking about the differences between epoxy resin and urethane resin because yes, there is a difference and it's an important one. We're talking about some of the basics like has, how resin works, how to use it safely, how to properly mix it. We're talking about how thick it is, how thin it is, depending on which resin you get and which you'd use for certain applications. We're gonna delve a little bit into uh, food safe resin uh, because that's a question I get a lot. We're talking about using resin in single layers as well as multiple layers. And one of the main things we're talking about too is calculating how much resin to use because resin, as you probably know, is very expensive. It's like liquid gold. so. We're really going to look at how to get an accurate number uh, of how much resin you want to prepare for each of your wood and resin pores. We're going to briefly talk on pigments and colorants uh, and what's involved in that. And of course, just the finishing stuff like popping bubbles, the torch or heat gun and how to use that. Module number five is a module I might actually be a genuine expert in and as the molds module. We're going to be looking at the five different types of molds and no, this isn't just a craft development infomercial. We're really looking at everything. We're looking at molds you can make yourself out of wooden tuck tape. We're looking at competitors molds. We're looking at our own molds here at craft elements. And to surprise you, heads up, there's no such thing as the best mold and you're going to learn more about that in this video. Module number six is a short and sweet one, but an important one, it's on mold release. And this is particularly important when it, to, when it comes to silicone molds. We have a lot of customers um, that use our silicone molds and some of them aren't familiar even after the instructions and the videos and the emails we send out on how important it is to use mold release. So if you wanna get your mold, your silicone mold specifically to last long and not get damaged, you'll definitely wanna watch this video. Module number seven is on planing and leveling. If you're working with wood and resin and not just resin only, you're gonna need some sort of way uh, to level your pieces. So once you've taken your wood and resin piece out of your mold, you need to get a way to completely level it down. And for those, we're looking at some of the tools and equipment involved, specifically a shot planer. Uh, we're also gonna look at a slab leveler, which is a handheld uh, router sled essentially. And we're also gonna be talking about more advanced things like the, wood, uh, the slab miser from Wood Miser and CNC machines, where they would come into play uh, for leveling uh, slabs and making everything ready for the finishing stage. In module number eight, we're gonna be looking at shaping with router templates and using a router, both a handheld router and a router table. We're talking about what a router template is, how they can save time, reduce errors, and boost your production efficiency, and of course, make your project that much more special. Um, we're talking about what bits to use and where to get those bits from. We're gonna be actually doing demonstrations of our router and our router table. We're gonna demonstrate our plunge router and how to do resin inlays and other advanced techniques like that. Module number nine is a fun one, and I say that with some sarcasm in my voice because it is on sanding and finishing. Uh, sanding is, of course, not something that most people enjoy. I certainly don't enjoy it, but either way, it's an important part of the process. So we're looking at all the considerations that you need to know about when sanding wooden resin pieces. We're talking about personal protective equipment and safety. We're gonna be looking at sanding with regular sandpaper, wet sanding, we're gonna touch into resin polishing. Uh, we're also gonna be talking about uh, common finishes that are used on charcuterie boards, uh, boards that would have a food safe requirement versus finishes that you'd use for furniture, like a table or a chair or a shelf. We're gonna be looking at varnishes, we're gonna be looking at uh, you know, natural oil finishes, and we're also gonna be talking about the popular hard wax finishes for doing things like tabletops. We're also gonna briefly talk about flood coating, although we do talk about flood coating in the next module as well. And then module number 10 is a flood coating specific video. It's really in depth as to what flood coating is, how to do a proper flood coat, how to save time uh, by prepping your underside of your flood coat uh, so you can save time sanding later. So that's gonna be a fun one because flood coating is really an easy way to get a super clear, super glossy finish on your piece with very, very little sanding and finishing. Module number 11 is the last video of the series and it's really where we bring everything together. We're gonna to do three or four examples of going from wood to a finished wooden resin project, except there's gonna be less of me talking about every single consideration and more of me just saying what I'm doing so you can follow along. It's really a cumulative video on everything you would have learned in the previous 10 modules if you watched all of them. So that's an important one because it's really gonna be a nice quick, well, I'm gonna say quick, but it's gonna be a nice video to see how you go from start to finish all in one video. Okay, so raise your hand if you're excited and ready to get started. I hope this module on the introduction wasn't too tedious and boring. I know you wanna to get to the good stuff, which we will do just in a minute. However, I wanna give a quick shout out to Total Boat. Total Boat is our go-to epoxy resin supplier. 
They provided all the resin that we use in this video and a lot of our other videos. So if you want to get some wicked resin for some of these epoxy and resin wood projects, go to totalboat.com. And of course, Craft Elements, our company, if you are looking for some molds and templates that we are using in this series, head over to craftedelements.com. I promise they will save you time. They will make you a better maker and you will love them just like the 20,000 plus other people that love them just as much. All right, that's it. Let's get started. I will see you in the next one. Wait, you made it all the way to the end of this video, which means you get an exclusive 10% discount on anything from craftedelements.com or totalboat.com. All you need to do is enter coupon code ERWBVS at checkout. That's ERWBVS. This coupon code is going to get you an instant 10% discount on any of the time-saving molds, templates, or tools at craftedelements.com. Or head over to totalboat.com and use the code to get some amazing epoxy resin at a 10% discount.